Good afternoon. I'm WDEF News 12 Now reporter Eric Avigny with this breaking news report here in Polk County where there is widespread destruction thanks to that storm that swept through this area overnight. Just behind me here is one of uh, more than more than 50 homes uh, destroyed by high winds and heavy rain that came through the area, knocked over trees, knocked down power lines. Off in the distance in this direction, we are understanding that there is a home that was destroyed. That was the home in which two people were found dead. We're told that there were a couple. Another couple uh, was also injured in this particular storm. They were taken to the hospital. We do not have a word on their condition. Off in the distance to my left here, power crews still on scene, still trying to restore power to this area. Now, we're told that the, uh, the debris field is about a two mile uh, radius in terms of the actual destruction as well as the, the power outage that is out. Off in the distance in this direction here, you can't see it, but it is what used to be the post office here in Okoe. It has been destroyed. Just behind that is a fire station, a $100,000 fire station. From what we understand, it's fairly new. That has also been destroyed. Now, we've been told that uh, a lot of people have been evacuated to a local hospital, I mean, to a local uh, high school where they are staying right now. Now, there were also reports of some other minor injuries, uh, but, they, but nothing major enough to warrant having to go to a hospital. And to add insult to injury, we are hearing that another round of thunder showers is going to come through this area. As you can tell just from uh, the live shot here, there is uh, quite a bit of rain that continues to come down. So, all in all, this is is not a pretty situation. Reporting live in Okoe, in Okoe, Eric Avignon, News 12 Now. We'll have more after the break.